Konnichiwa. Welcome to How to Japanese series. In this video, you will learn how to conjugate Japanese verbs from their present short forms to must forms, also known as long forms for polite speech. Short forms of verbs are used among family members and friends in casual speech. For example, if the boy would like to ask his friend Hana if she eats sushi, he would say, Sushi o taberu? Hana answers, Un, taberu. The boy and the girl are both using taberu, plain form, because they are friends. However, if the boy would like to ask the teacher if she eats sushi, he would say, Sushi o tabemasu ka? Using the long form, which is used in polite speech. When the teacher replies, the teacher can either say, E tabemasu or E taberu. There are also honorific forms, also called super polite forms. I will discuss these in future videos. How do we change verbs from their short forms to must forms, aka long forms? To do so, we will first need to know the Japanese verb types. There are three types of Japanese verbs. The first group is U verbs, also known as group 1 verbs, such as the verbs that you see here. There are nine possible verb endings for this type of Japanese verbs. The second group is lu verbs, also known as group 2 verbs, such as the verbs that you see here. There is only one possible verb ending for this type of Japanese verbs, which is lu. And lu has to be preceded by an e sound or e sound. The third group is irregular verbs, also known as group 3 verbs, and they include the following two verbs only. These verbs are short affirmative forms. Let's begin with blue verbs and change them from short forms to must forms. The long form of taberu is tabemas. The long form of miru is mimas. The formula is to drop the lu ending of a lu verb and then add mas. This way you will get the long form, aka polite form of the lu verbs. This time we are going to conjugate the wu verbs. As I mentioned earlier, there are nine possible endings. They all have the wu endings. Let's look at kawu first that ends with u. When you first learned hiragana, you learned a, i, u, e, o, and u is a part of this row. Let's move down to matzu to wait, and its ending is zu, and zu is a part of the tachi zu te to row. The third word you see here is wakaru, which has the lu ending, and lu is a part of the la ri ru re ro row. Here's the rest of the table. Please note, column 1 has all of the a sound characters. Column 2, e sounds. Column 3, u sounds. Column 4, e sounds. And column 5, o sounds. I hope by now you have noticed that the endings of u verbs are just like the ones in column 3. Basically, column 3 contains the ending of u verbs in their short forms. It is very important to know this table well as you will use it for u verb conjugations. Now we're going to use this table and change u verbs into their must forms. I am duplicating the verb list here so that I can show you the short forms and their must forms side by side. How do we exactly change these u verbs to their must forms? Let's revisit the middle column, which is the third column with the u sound characters. We're going to move from column 3 to column 2, containing all of the E sound characters. To change U verbs into their must forms, we will need this E sound column to replace all of the U endings. Now we're going to add must. By doing so, we are changing kawu to its must form, kaimas. Now apply the same rule to matsu. So, its must form is machimas. Now apply the same rule to wakaru. Its must form is wakarimas. You can pause the video and practice the rest of the must forms. The meaning of the short form is exactly the same as its must form. The only difference is we use the short forms in casual speech and the long forms in polite speech. In summary, to get must forms of u verbs, we will need to change the u ending to e sound first and then add mas. Here's the recap for lu verbs. To get the must form of a lu verb is to drop lu and then add mas. 
Now let's move on to the two irregular verbs. For this group, we will need to drop the lu ending and then replace the u sound with e sound. For suru to do, drop lu, change su to shi, and then add mas. So shimas is the long form of suru. For kuru to come, drop lu, change ku to ki. So kimas is the long form of kuru. To change the verbs into their negative forms is easy. Just change mas to masen. Kaimas, I will buy, affirmative form. Kaimasen, I will not buy, negative form. Machimasu, negative form is machimasen. You can apply the same rule to the rest of the verbs to get their negative forms. Please remember when there are rules, there are always exceptions. Kairu ends in lu, which is preceded by an e sound. Hairu also ends in lu. And it is preceded by an e sound. They are supposed to be lu verbs, but they are actually u verbs. There are quite a few verbs like these in Japanese. You just have to remember them when they come along. That being said, you have to conjugate them as u verbs. Here's a dialogue between Taka and Hana that shows how to use mas and masen verbs in polite speech. Ashita eiga o mimasu ka? Ie, mimasen. Ja, ashita nani o shimasu ka? Kyoto ni ikimasu. Issho ni ikimasen ka? Ii desu ne. Here, please find five tables of commonly used nouns and verbs. You can use these verbs in mas or masen form to describe if you do or will do these activities or not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Dewa mata.